Hey everyone, I'm Zephyr, and this is going to be episode 3 of my beginner tutorial series to After Effects. And in this video, I'm going to be actually making something with you, so that's going to be awesome. I do appreciate if you follow along in After Effects yourself. Just open up your copy if you own one and follow along with all the steps that I do so that you can get a better grasp for it because watching is not as good as practicing. So, before I begin, uh, make sure you do that. And second of all, in the description, there's a download link for a font called Bank Gothic, and you're going to need that for this tutorial and for future tutorials. All right, so with that done, let's open up a new composition because that's how you start any project. You start up a new composition. Now I'm going to call it Text and these options there's there's a lot to them um, all these are are just different resolution settings and stuff I just choose this one because that's kind of a YouTube standard and background color duration is important maybe frames per second but for the most part you don't really have to change most of this once you have a default setting so click OK and you're gonna wanna take a text tool so you're gonna make your first thing here there's nothing right now because you haven't made anything now if you're kinda zoomed out like this just go up to fit up to a hundred percent and it'll zoom you up uh, closer to it so click on the screen anywhere when you have text tool selected and let's lower the you can just kinda click and drag and it'll lower the size and let's type hello my name is okay and let's just put it right here okay so we have this cool looking text right here and that's your first creation congratulations now let's do something with it because no one's gonna watch a video like this that's boring so let's go down to this drop down menu here's the layer panel or timeline and you can see this layer It's called the text and you're gonna drop down here drop down to transform and what you're gonna do is these are different things that control it so the scale for example uh, control Z that the rotation all these things are controlled now keep in mind that it rotates around its anchor point so that's what you can do is you can move the anchor point around the text and then you can rotate it according to that but we'll get into that later for now what we're gonna do is change the opacity which is how transparent it is what you wanna do is these time uh, these little stopwatches these tell the program if you click on them to animate that property. So what we're going to do is bring it down to 0% and so now we can't see it. But move forward in the timeline a little bit and just drag it back to 100%. And because you changed it at another portion and it's on set to animate, it adds what's called a keyframe, these two keyframes that tell it to go from 0% to 100% and it does it in a few seconds okay so as you can see in the preview window right here it's now fading in which is nice okay but I think it looks a little more professional to add a bit of movement because all it's doing is just fading in so let's go to the position and make sure we're at the beginning and click that stopwatch then we're gonna move right here now keep in mind that if you want to move it perfectly horizontally or vertically you just hold shift while you do it and that will just um, move it in that fashion okay that was weird so let's move it to about here let's say and as you can see it fades in while moving which looks a little bit cooler alright so 
that's your first creation. Congratulations. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Now let's add another piece of text. And let's just go back here and make it cleaner by closing those. Now, let's just make this one bigger because that looks it looks cool too to have two different sizes of text. Uh, let's make it let's try to make it the same size approximately width wise. That's pretty much good. Uh hello. There. That's pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to fade this in as well. And it's not centered right now, that's fine. I don't this is not really a project, but once it fades in about here, we're going to animate this at 0% and animate the position. Now we're going to move forward to about here, change it to 100%. And actually I made a mistake with the position. And this is a mistake that's easy to make if you're kind of new to animating, which <laughs> I just called myself new to animating. Um, it's putting the result of the animation and then animating it. What I need to do is start from, let's see, I need to actually start from here. Okay, and then I'll go here and then I'll animate it. That's pretty good. So as we can see, it fades in. Hello, my name is Seven Zephyr. And that's that's actually pretty cool, guys. I mean, it's it's basic. It's just black and white text and it just moves. But it's actually pretty cool. Um, and so it's you'll be surprised how easily you can make something that looks fairly awesome. Um, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. There's more to be talked about when it comes to animating. So my next episode, episode 4, will feature animation and I'll talk a little bit more about that. So if you enjoyed this video, please like it. That really helps me out. And please subscribe if you want to see more of these videos because they'll go right to your YouTube uh, wall. Uh, of course, YouTube is so messed up they might not, but whatever. Please subscribe and please like it and that will really help me out. Alright, thanks for watching and have a nice day.